again, AIS. Welcome back to week six of the Six and Six campaign. This is actually the last live video before an exam of the campaign. So this is kind of crazy that we're already in week six and that it's already halfway through the week, but here we are. And I'm here to talk a little bit more about practice management, which is division number one when you look at the ARE 5.0 handbook or any other ARE prep materials. Um, just as a reminder for those that may have either missed the exam on Monday or that just want to know what practice management's all about, it ranges from business operations all the way over to managing the financial side of a practice, so the office and actually working as a manager in that office or owning your own firm. Um, it also includes risk management, the development of a practice, what goes into that, how to actually start from the ground up, etc. Um, the practice-wide delivery of services, as well as practice methodologies. So on Monday, I went into exactly what that breakdown was, and I talked a little bit about a few resources, but I wanted to update you all on what I've done thus far this week to study, and some other resources and tips that I found that I think you can all utilize. So let's look at them. First of all, I wanted to reiterate once more to anybody who's missed past videos or maybe is just starting on their path to licensure that the first place you want to look when preparing for any of your AREs is the ARE 5.0 handbook. It is the most reliable resource because it was written and crafted by NCARB, who actually wrote and crafted all of the AREs. Go figure. So you might want to dive into this so that you really understand where their thought process was, what they're testing you on, and more specifically, you want to look at the sample items. These are sample questions that are actually framed very similarly to what happens on the exam. And if you can go through the ARE 5.0 handbook and get to know all of these sample items, chances are you'll have a much better understanding of what to expect and you'll just be ready going into that testing center. So definitely look through that. There's a number of them for each of the divisions and you definitely want to take advantage of that. And there's actually a rationale behind all of the answers. So that's really helpful while you're going through this. So thus far this week, I have watched all of the um, videos on Black Spectacles. And as I've mentioned in the past, Black Spectacles is one of many ARI prep providers that basically provides video materials as well as flashcards. Um, Black Spectacles was the first um, testing prep provider to be approved by NCARB for ARI 5.0. And later on, I'm going to talk about one other test prep provider that has been approved. But Black Spectacles is great as a broad understanding of what's on the exam, but it definitely isn't everything that you want to use. You want to definitely take advantage of books and other resources to fully gain that understanding that's required to pass these exams. So next this evening, I will be taking a practice exam through Black Spectacles, which, as I mentioned last week, is a pretty accurate reflection of the ARI 5.0 um, experience in a Prometric Testing Center. I will also, I've already rewatched the B101 and the um, A201 lectures provided by Schiff Hardin. So definitely take advantage of these because if I haven't mentioned it enough, these are super digestible and they're a really great way of just understanding what the contracts are trying to get into, what an architect is liable for, what a contractor is liable for, what the owner is liable for, and how those different project delivery types actually come into play when it comes to choosing what contracts to use in a project. I will also be utilizing this handy dandy study guide that I found on the ARE 5.0 community by a fellow um, licensure candidate. And then I wanted to shed light on one other resource. This is Architect Exam Prep. Some of you probably know about it, but recently they actually got NCARB approval for their practice management course. So I wanted to show you a little bit more about what they have to offer. And this might actually be more your style. If, for instance, you like to study with other people, you might want direct coaching. And so through Architect Exam Prep, not only do they have things that they like to call the ultimate whole enchilada, which personally I think is amazing, but they provide these study packages where if you look in, you can start to see what actually comes in a study package. And that includes um, pages of reading, diagrams, a bunch of awesome audio clips that are put together by the two individuals who actually created um, architect exam prep. So 
Here, I want to show you because some of you actually know one of them. Shout out to David Duchette and Eric Corey Freed. Those of you that were at Forum in Seattle got the chance to actually hear a keynote from Eric Corey Freed. And you guys know that he has a really great way of connecting with um, emerging professionals. So you know that these two know what they're doing and you know that they know how to deliver this information in a great way so that you actually digest it. But yeah, so in addition to the whole enchilada package, those audio materials that I was talking about, you can actually download those to your iTunes or to your phone. And I haven't personally taken advantage of this, but if I don't pass this exam this week, you know I will because I'm sure they're amazing and they're comedic as well as they are informative. There's also three case study guides as well as flashcards and other multiple choice exam simulations. Then I wanted to specifically highlight their six week group coaching program. This is a separate purchase in comparison to the um, study materials, but this is a really awesome opportunity. If you need to study with other people, you want direct coaching, or if you just don't wanna be alone on your path to licensure, some of the reasons that you might wanna use this is because not only do you get to have four coaching calls for um, once a week for four weeks, but you get to join in on discussions on Slack. You guys know that we at AIS love Slack, so why not join in on this fun? And then they also just, they just help you not only get a clear and focused weekly study plan, you don't feel so alone in your process. You learn special tips and tricks and all of these other things. So that's why I wanted to kind of share this. Um, they also have one-on-one -on -one coaching if that's more your speed, but definitely take a peek at Architect Exam Prep as another um, test prep provider because they were recently approved and because they're just wonderful individuals putting this together. Um, I also wanted to give another shout out to them for their podcast. For those of you that haven't taken a peek at the Airy podcast, um, this is an awesome way to just get a deeper understanding of what might actually be impeding your path to licensure. So this is one of my favorite ones that they've shared. It's how cognitive bias is keeping you from passing the Airy. And that's something a lot of people don't even think about. They're like, okay, I'm going to go study. I'm going to go to the testing center and I'm going to do great. But sometimes it might actually be the way you're approaching this in your brain that's stopping you from passing. Or it might just be you psyching yourself out or endless types of things that might be inhibiting your path to licensure. So definitely take a peek at these podcasts. They're pretty great. There's also one featuring, um, where is it? There's one featuring Jared Zern, NCARB Director of Examination. So you can get a really in-depth understanding of the ARA 5.0 from someone who's actually on the inside. So yeah, take a peek at those podcasts. Um, they also have an Instagram, and I wanted to point this out because they actually do um, giveaways for free divisions. So if you guys are on Instagram, which you are, because you're watching a live Instagram story right now, go over, follow them on Instagram, and try and get one of these free divisions. I think it's really awesome, and just like our past scholarship, helping future architects get on their path to licensure is something we're all about. So definitely go and try and win one of those, like these two individuals who recently won, and then take advantage of that. Um, and then last but not least, before I leave the Architect Prep Instagram, this is a quote I really loved from David that I wanted to share. Don't worry about passing or failing the next exam. Just focus on the bigger goal of becoming a licensed architect, and the rest will take care of itself. And that's something that I wanted to include in this last week, because as I've gone through this six-week process, I just want you all to understand that whether you pass or fail, this is an experience that you are putting yourself into to really reach that bigger goal, to become that licensed architect and become the best licensed architect that you can be. So don't stop now, continue pushing, and I'm here and your fellow licensure candidates are here to help you. Um, one final tip, or more of a resource for you all, if Black Spectacles isn't your cup of tea or if you just wanna try a different um, test prep provider, Plural Site is another really great one, and they actually provide a 10-day free trial. And I've been looking at the ARI 5.0 community, and a lot of people have taken advantage of that 10-day trial and have gotten what they need out of it. Some people have gone on to do the monthly pass, which is only $35. Um, they also have an annual discount, and then there's a premium, which I'm not entirely sure what goes into the premium, but that's a little more expensive, so I'm sure you get a lot of other stuff. But this is just another test prep provider, and I wanted to show you what the inside of it looks like. I signed up for that young 10-day free trial, 
And here we are. You can go, you start your course, but before you start your course, that's not loading correctly, you can see that there is table of contents, description, transcript, exercise files, and discussion. I wanted to call attention to the exercise files because here you can actually download the files that they're using in the lectures and go on in real time and follow along with what they're doing. And so that's one thing that I thought was really awesome about this, um, this course that is provided by Kevin Greenling. Shout out to Kevin. Um, and then if you actually go in and start your course, you see that there is a table of contents that includes all of the videos it covers. Similar to Black Spectacles, they break it down into all of the sections that NCARB actually illustrates are the key sections of the exam. So it really helps you understand the differences between one and another. And then you can simultaneously take notes. This is awesome. Definitely take advantage of this if you are somebody who wants to take notes while you study. And yeah, so that's just a couple other resources I wanted to share for you all. Um, and here we are, week six of the Six and Six campaign. Um, I can't believe we're here, but I hope that the tips and resources that I've shared over the last few weeks have been helpful to all of you. If you've missed any of them, or if you're wondering if they're going to be shared online, yes, they will be. Um, after Friday's exam, I'll be posting one more recap of that final experience and how I do on that exam. And then next week, I will be sharing a blog post on the AIS website that is a compilation of all of the tips and tricks, all of the resources, all of the lessons learned that I have overcome, that I've discovered over the last six weeks. And so don't you fret, you will get all of that information later as well. But thank you guys for tuning in live and I will see you on Friday. Bye.